टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एम आई एस विच इज मैनेजमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम टेल यू समथिंग there are actually two very important components of an mis which is business or an organization and the other one is computer system because without the both of them mis can be built now we are talking very simply so if i used to if i have to define mis then i will say that it is actually an information management system which actually processes collects manages and then supply the data as per the user need uh, several important things considering the mis which are characteristics barrier and challenges in implementing or usage of the mis framework of mis role and uses of mis needs of mis it actually means that why mis is needed now i'm going to discuss the characteristics of mis which are system approach future oriented management oriented long term planning based need based central database and common data flow now the mis have actually a system approach that it means that mis has a approach towards the system very systematically which actually means that the system approach of mis is actually step by step accumulative approach towards the system mis is always future oriented because we cannot use mis in a situation we are going to want results now and then no it is actually a future oriented concept which which gives us result which will help into our future management oriented mis is always management oriented because it is actually a management system of information and data long term planning based 
am I as I told you before future oriented if any system is future oriented then it will always be a long term planning based because we cannot have the short term planning towards uh, in the MIS need based okay now the implementation of MIS is has to be a need based because the kind of system we need we have to implement that kind of system towards our organization central database which means that MIS has to have a place where all the data input and output has to be stored and that has to be a central database common data flow it means that MIS has to be a data flow which is incorruptible now we have to move further Now the framework of the MIS Now I am giving you a very simple example of MIS system that how it works Look carefully at the structure of the MIS If I am having a shopping mall or a store then I have to keep that in mind about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 aspects. The one is shop floors, purchasings, all the sales, all the estimation of sales and purchasings, the quality control, stores and management. So these are the 7 things which I have to care about, which I have to store the data about. Okay, now how MS helps all this data, all of it goes into an MIS and now MIS processes it and gives a user defined output. There is an output that we and you people can understand easily. So we can see the structure of MIS is actually very simple but it can also be very complicated as per the organization or the firm in which the MIS is installed. Okay. Now the next aspect is Role and uses of MIS.
we can see MIS is actually like a heart in an organization which is actually a body that it collects processes and sends the data and all the information MIS also helps the clerical personnel to review the data to make the data review by their uh, authorities or by their customers now next point is The point says that middle management in short term planning, target setting and controlling the business function. Now see the MIS is very helpful and useful as a middle management system and which also helps in short term planning like goals which have to be achieved in a short term, target setting by reviewing the data and the past market trends and controlling the business functions or if we have the data if we have all the information about our organization or past expenditures and all then we can control our business functions regarding the information next one is MIS also generates the information now what information is we need from the data we actually understand by the help of MIS and the communication in an organization is also well established through an MIS because if we have MIS all the computers all the computer systems are connected with each other and now we can through we can flow information through them and problem identification here it is important factor problem identification is actually the flaw or the error which we are going to find out is, is very easy is very useful through the MIS. Now if I have to summarize the topic or I have to say in a very few words that what is MIS, what are the characteristics, what are the roles and what are the uses and needs of MIS, I can just write on a few points.
MIS actually supports the business process which means if I have MIS in my organization that I have the full accessibility to all the information. The second one is suppose decision making. If I have MIS installed in my organization then I don't have to worry about the loss of information or the error in reading or getting or the processing in information because in MIS we have all the data, we have all the information, we can process it, we can run through it and actually it will help in our decision making. Setting strategies for an organization. We can say that if we have MIS then we have the ability to study the past and present market trends so that we can plan our strategies for our current or our future objectives. Now that's all in the introduction of MIS.